everyone and good morning. Welcome to Lauds for April 15th, 2024. Today is Monday of the third week of Easter. As always, we will begin the Divine Office with the Regina Celli. We offer that in both Latin and English for our Blessed Mother. And so with all that being said, let us begin. In the nomine Patri, Sifidi, Spiritui Sancti, Amen. Regina Celle Letare, Alleluia. Quia quem meroristi portare, Alleluia. Resurrexit, sicurixit, Alleluia. Ora pra nobis Deum, Alleluia. Gauge et Letare, Vergora Maria, Alleluia. Quia surrexit, Dominus Verre, Alleluia. Ororemus. Deus, Qui per resurrectione in fili tui domini nostri Iesu Christi mundum letificare dignatus es, prester quesse musur per eios genetricem vergine Maria in perpetuae capiamos gaudia vitae. Periundum Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. O Queen of Heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. For he whom you did merit to bear. Alleluia. Is risen as he said. Alleluia. Pray for us to God, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. For the Lord has truly risen, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant, we beseech thee, that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And so we begin, Lords, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Come then, let us bow down and worship bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Mirabah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. My heart and my flesh rejoice in the living God. Alleluia. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord God of hosts. My soul is longing and yearning, is yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my soul ring out their joy to God, the living God. The sparrow finds herself a home, and the swallow a nest for her brood. She lays her young by your altars, the Lord of hosts, my King and my God. They are happy who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. They are happy whose strength is in you, in whose hearts are the roads to Zion. As they go through the bitter valley, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rain covers it with blessings. They walk with ever-growing strength. They will see the God of gods in Zion. O Lord, God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. 
Turn your eyes, O God, our shield. Look on the face of your anointed. One day within your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. The threshold of the house of God I prefer to the dwellings of the wicked. For the Lord God is a rampart, a shield. He will give us his favor and glory. The Lord will not refuse any good to those who walk without blame. Lord God of hosts, happy the man who trusts in you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My heart and my flesh rejoice in the living God. Alleluia. The house of the Lord has been raised on high, and all the nations will go up to it. Alleluia. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest mountain and raised above the hills. All the nations shall stream toward it. Many people shall come and say, Come, let us climb the Lord's mountain to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may instruct us in his ways, and we may walk in his paths. For from Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations and impose terms on many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. One nation, one nation shall not raise a sword against another, nor shall they train for war again. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The house of the Lord has been raised on high, and all the nations will go up to it. Alleluia. Proclaim this among the nations. The Lord is King. Alleluia. O we'll sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. O oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his help day by day, till among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. The Lord is great and worthy of praise to be feared above all gods. The gods of the heathens are not. It was the Lord who made the heavens, his our majesty and state and power, and splendor in his holy place. Give the Lord you families of peoples. Give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in his temple. O earth, tremble before him. Proclaim to the nations, God is king. The world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy. Let the presence of the Lord, for he comes. He comes to rule the earth. With justice he will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his truth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. Proclaim this among the nations. The Lord is King. Alleluia. A reading from the Epistle of St. Paul to the Romans. The word is near you, on your lips and in your heart. That is the word of faith we preach. For if you confess with your lips that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Faith in the heart leads to justification, confession on the lips to salvation. Verbum Domine, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Deo gratias. Let's take a few moments to ponder these words of St. Paul. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> 
<coughs> the Lord is risen from the tomb, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen from the tomb, alleluia, alleluia. He hung upon the cross for us, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. Do not work for food that will perish, but for food that lasts to eternal life. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us the mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Do not work for food that will perish, but for food that lasts to eternal life. Alleluia. The Father glorified Jesus, and appointed him heir to all nations, let us praise him, saying, Save us, Lord, through your victory. Lord Christ, by your victory you broke the power of evil and destroyed sin and death. Make us victorious over sin today. You laid death low and brought us to new life. Granted, we may walk today in this new life. You gave life to the dead and led mankind from death to life. Give eternal life to all those we meet, we shall meet today. You brought confusion on the guards at your tomb, but joy to your disciples. Grant the fullness of joy to all who serve you. And taught by our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Say, Livre a nos amalo. Deliver us from evil. Oremos, let us pray. God our Father, your light of truth guides us to the way of Christ. May all who follow him reject what is contrary to the gospel. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us into everlasting life. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout this world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen and amen. Hello, everyone. Hope everyone is well this morning. Good to see you here. God bless you. Morning, Merrick. How are you this morning? It's good to have you here. Terry, good to see you. Michael, good morning to you, brother. John Tremblay, how are you doing? Smoking Monkey Media, it's good to see you. Hello, Sonia, how are you? Good to see you. Sally, how are you this morning? And William Fleming, good to see you all. 
God bless you all for taking the time out of your day to be here. Please remember that this evening at 6 p.m. we will have Vespers, and God willing, um, I will see you all then. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye for now.